I work all week, pay the bill, buy some smoke for my cheapest thrills, and it seems I can't save a dime. The bank set you up, they got a 30 year deal, and they did sweet, gave you sex appeal. Yet the one thing they did not reveal Is you won't save a dime Cause playing with fool's gold is plain to see right. <laughs> Matt, tell me why, uh, what, what you're out here doing. Well, the um, Citizens Bank is directly owned by uh, the Royal Bank of Scotland which received $3.3 billion out of the um, AIG bailout. You know, that's a foreign bank that received, uh, that received our tax dollars. And so we're out here educating people as to that fact, because Citizens Bank is just basically a local brand name for the Royal Bank of Scotland. And so what we're encouraging people to do is if they're really, they feel like I do about this, they should move their money out of a, uh, out of a bank like this and put it in a local credit union where we have control over how the lending practices happen because it's run by direct democracy. And, you know, it's, it just makes sense and it keeps, keeps the money local, it keeps, you know, it keeps pe transparency that just can't exist in a bank like this. And so if people can make that choice, I think we would have avoided this whole crisis that we're in now. What will it set people back to join a credit union? It won't set people back at all. In fact, because they're consumer cooperatives, um, you know, you'll earn higher interest and on your savings and checking actually like interest on your checking account. Vermont Federal Credit Union, I earn 3% of my checking account. And on your uh, you know, loans, your, your rates will be lower because you own the institution. And the profits of that institution are redistributed to you because it's a cooperative. Whereas at a place like this, the profits are shipped out of state to, you know, in this case, the shareholders of the Royal Bank of Scotland, which is now 70% of that is the British government. So by banking here, you're subsidizing the British government. Why is this specifically right for Vermont? Well, Vermont is a particularly great place for this. We've got a really great credit union uh, community. Um, there are a lot of them around, Vermont Federal, Vermont State Employees Credit Union. Um, there's Opportunities Credit Union. There's a lot of places downtown. Um, and I think there's also a real uh, sense of purpose in Vermont for leaning towards locally run businesses, community run businesses, and cooperative models like credit unions, as opposed to great national conglomerates and, and international banking. Um, it's really a, a great movement anywhere in the country, and we hope that other places will, will emulate this model, but we feel that Vermonters are particularly uh, going to be willing to uh, make the demands that they have to make from, from their banks and take control over the way their money is invested. Vermont, there's a lot of uh, local movements here, you know, we push for local food systems, we, but I think until you have a local credit system, all of those other, all of those other systems are still at the mercy of this like transnational banking system. Whereas if we can have our money at credit unions, where that money is available to the community for community reinvestment and the profits are reinvested in the community, you know, we have a chance for like real sustainable growth rather than these like huge speculative bubbles caused by financial shenaniganry by big banks that leave, you know, a few people very wealthy and everyone else destitute. I mean, unemployment's above 8% now. That's 8% of people who can't find productive work. That's unacceptable. Does this uh, fit into the whole political spectrum? Well, I think this is something that people who are conservative and liberal can get behind because on the one hand, you know, it's, it's all it is is consumer choice. You know, you as a consumer can choose to be with a for-profit bank or choose to be with a credit union. You know, it's absolutely free market. But at the same time, it's also something that's an equalizer because as part of a credit union, you know, your money is, give, is making you wealthier, you more secure, you more, you know, able to participate in the community economically. And so it's, you know, it's, it's something that leads to economic justice while at the same time respecting people's freedom of, of economic choice. Banks that have been, that have invested five billion dollars into our political system in the last ten years in order to, to set themselves up to get this type of bailout money. So if people can, as a mass, divest themselves from these institutions, you know, we will be sending a powerful political message. And what's more, we'll be, we'll be setting Vermont up for a real and sustainable economic recovery. Not one based off of, you know, just money floating up from the, New York, the banks in New York City. Cause I'm playing with fool's gold Who's playing to see Our filthy fool's gold They got it up through the ceiling
where'd all the money go? Well, they sent it overseas. It's all gone. Cause the plane with fools go. It's plain to see. All filthy fools go. It's up to the ceiling. Where'd all the money go? Seven trillion dollars old. Ten trillion dollars old. Twelve trillion dollars, but they're coming.